Bismillahir Rahman Rahim Assalamu Alaikum So today we will discuss how we can compare the three means using one way ANOVA So as we can use the other tests for compare the two means but when we have more means so we are using to compare uh, that means uh, by ANOVA one way ANOVA So how uh, we use ANOVA uh, in Excel sheet so we will learn today and how we do the analysis. So generally we have here the null hypothesis that the three means are equal while the alternative hypothesis all the three means are not equal or at least one is different. So now uh, what is uh, the process to analyze the data in Excel? Uh, so you have to click the data, the first step and again is the tool pack that data analysis tool pack. So in the data analysis tool pack, uh, the first one is ANOVA single factor. So we click here. OK, so now this is ANOVA single factor. That is one way ANOVA. So we will select all our data along with these uh, sample one, sample two and sample three uh, descriptions and uh, it will enter here automatically. OK, now as uh, the data is arranged row wise, that is sample one along with their uh, horizontally the four observation of sample one, sample two and the four observation of sample two and sample three along with their own uh, four observations. OK, so the data is uh, this is important to keep in mind that how your data is uh, arranged. So this is row wise, so I click row. OK, so label in the first column and alpha generally we use for analysis. Uh, that is a 5% level of significant 0 0.05. OK, the output range that is important. Uh, this is just to men mention where you want to uh, your output. Uh, so I click here. It just click here and then uh, look at here. OK, so this is the place. So this is the process and now you have to just select OK. OK, so this is our output. That's we known as descriptive statistics. OK, so in descriptive statistic, uh, this is these are the group sample one, the count for observation, sum and the average of the sample one and the variance. There is our sigma one square S one square. That's in sample case sample two counts sum average and the variance is sample two. So this is our descriptive statistic. Now we are coming here to ANOVA. That's uh, the ANOVA table and this is our inferential statistic. So we can write down here inferential statistic. This is just a one statistic F test. We are right down here. Statistic that is in singular sense. OK, so this is source of variation. So we have source of variation that's between groups and within groups. Sum of square is 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 representing. I can write here is 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 used for sum of squares. Uh, the next is df, df represents our degrees of freedom. Okay, and uh, next is the ms, that's our mean square. which is obtained by sum of square divided by their degrees of freedom. For example, the sum of square 546 is divided by 2 and we got 273. So this is 4, 546 divided by 2 and we got 
273 and same like 876.25 is divided by 9 and we got the mean sum of square. Further, we have the if value. So the if value that is our if test and this is uh, it divided by the first mean where error is divided by the 97 point three six one 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 okay so this is the f test and this is our p value so the p value is very important if you look at the p value so p value is here point one one three zero nine three which is quite greater than point zero five so what we conclude so we conclude here or conclusions that conclusion that there is no significant difference like this so we accept uh, we cannot reject the it's not cannot be reject be rejected so we conclude here the three means have no significance in difference. Okay, so this was the ANOVA, uh, one way ANOVA, uh, how we interpret their output and this is the descriptive statistics and this is the inferential statistic and this is our decision uh, conclusion that we accept uh, it's not and we cannot reject uh, it's not and we consider that the all three means are equal. Uh, so thank you very much for watching video.